So the other day I was looking into doing a tutorial on how to install a custom ROM on the Galaxy Note 10 series. And in doing so, I attempted to execute a couple ADB commands, but I was given a strange error. I don't remember the exact wording, but it talked about the ADB error being a device unauthorized. It said something about the ADB vendor keys were not being set, and that I should try ADB kill server to fix it. If not, then I should be looking for a confirmation dialog on the Galaxy Note 10. So when I saw that, it sounded like it just wasn't authorized. It even said the device was not authorized, but you know, I have used ADB commands on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus here before. I haven't done a format. Even still, I should be able to easily plug in a USB cable, as you see here, and get a USB debugging mode prompt. You know, I can even go into developer options. I went through developer option, made sure USB debugging mode was enabled. I revoked all USB debugging authorizations and then unplugged the cable, plugged it back in. I even did the ADB kill server command that was recommended to me in the command prompt whenever I was trying to just, just do a ADB reboot but I was still unable to get past that error. I ended up doing a little bit of research and found a solution to what my problem was, and I wanted to share that with you. I found this over on the XDA LG G3 Verizon forums, uh, and I'll link to that in the full tutorial that I write up for this. Just so you can see, uh, I believe this was the exact command I was given, or the exact error I was displayed. I tried to duplicate it again, um, but I'm not quite sure that this was the exact, because I'm seeing this first line be a little bit different on other reports of people asking how to fix this online, which is another reason why I wanted to do this video. But again, it mentions that their device is unauthorized, even though I'm unable to get a USB debugging prompt on the phone and I know I've allowed it before but even then I was unable to get it to trigger by revoking the permissions and I even have the USB drivers installed that's another thing that you want to make sure you have it recommended that I do the ADB kill server which I did and then doing ADB reboot still didn't fix it so I found that it actually has to do with ADB keys that are uh, stored on your PC. And you can find these, if you're on Windows, you can just type out percentage, user profile, percentage, and this is just going to take you to C slash users and then your user on Windows. And for Anybody on Mac or Linux, you can just do a forward slash to get to your home directory. Or I believe it's a squiggly line. I'm not a big Linux user. But anyway, in here, in your home user directory, you're going to find a dot .android folder. And it's in this dot .android folder that ADB and fast tools are going to store the keys for the devices that you have allowed access to. So every time you get that ADB prompt on your or USB debugging mode prompt on your phone and you grant access to it, it stores that key here in one of these files so that it knows not to ask that again and that it knows to use that key whenever it goes to execute any ADB or fastboot tools. However, when I looked in this folder, one of these files was missing. I can't really remember which one. Again, this is a week ago, already been through the weekend. But one of these files was missing. So what I did is I deleted the other file. And it doesn't matter here, what you can do is you can just go in and delete both of these files. 
as that's going to reset your ADB install and it's going to reset all of the keys you have stored on your PC for your connected devices. Once we do that, we can go back to our command prompt, then we can run a ADB space kill dash server. To kill that server, then we can type out ADB devices to start running the server and once you do that you should then get the USB debugging mode prompt on your phone assuming you have USB debugging mode enabled and it's connected with a USB cable. So there you have it that was just a quick way of showing you how to fix this error by going into the .android folder where ADB and Fastboot tools are storing your ADB keys, removing them, killing the server, and letting it recreate those files on its own.